I'm Brian Freer, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is strong acids and bases. Strong acids and bases completely dissociate in water. Well, basically what happens is you put down your strong acid, like hydrochloric acid, and it'll completely break off into its ions, H plus and Cl minus. This is the list of strong acids over here. Hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydroiodic acid, hydronitric acid, sulfuric acid, and, and perchloric acid. You might not need to know the names of all of them, but definitely know the chemical formulas. It'll be easy to remember this list right now, as opposed to memorizing the list of weak acids, which you will need to know later on. We'll cover weak acids and bases in another lesson. The list of weak acids is as follows. Anything not on this list. So yes, this will be easier to memorize. Bases. The strong bases are any alkali metal attached to a hydroxide ion, OH-. Easy enough. Weak bases, again, everything else. Now, the next thing your chemistry teacher might want you to know are the pH and OH scales. You're probably already familiar with the pH scale. Simple thing, 1 to 14. 1 is your most acidic substance, 7 is completely neutral, and 14 is your most basic substance. What you might not have heard of, however, is the pOH scale. That's just the pH scale flipped over. At 1, you've got your most basic substance, 7 is neutral, and 14 is your most acidic. You will need to, however, calculate your pH and pOH from time to time. That's done rather easily. pH is defined as the negative log of the concentration of H plus ions. What that means, you just need your H plus ions. Like say you've got the concentration of H plus ions, 10 to the negative 4 molar. Just plug it into your calculator. Negative log, 10 to the negative 4. And what you should get is just 4. pH is 4. Using that, you could actually come up with a pOH for the same solution. The pOH, if you already know the pH, is 14 minus pH. In this case, 14 minus 4, that's just 10. Similarly, you could define pH as 14 minus the pOH. The two will always add up to 14. pOH is pretty much the same thing, only with OH minus ions, the negative log of OH minus ions. So, let's say you had a concentration which had is set at 10 to the negative 7. Punch it into your calculator. Negative log, 10 to the negative 7, and you should come up with 7. And there's your pOH. One to find pH? 14 minus 7. That's just 7. And that's all there is to it. To recap, Strong acids and bases completely dissociate in water. That means they'll break up completely into their ions. The strong acids are these ones, and the bases are just OH- attached to an alkali metal. The pH scale goes from 1 to 14, 1 being most acidic, 7 being neutral, and 14 being most basic. The pOH scale is just the pH scale flipped upside down. So calculate a pH, it's the negative log of the H plus ions, pOH, the negative log of the OH- ions. If you already have one of the two, just take 14 and subtract it to get your other one. That's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Freer. See you next time.